Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And this is going to be a quick video. I want to show you how to add a new account in QuickBooks Online. Let's take a look at my screen and we're going to talk about this for a few minutes. So let's say you're in a brand new company or even an existing one and suddenly you realize, hey, I have to add a new account. Well, there's essentially two ways. So I'm going to show you both. The first way is going to the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts are, is where your accounts all live, whether it's a bank account, expense account, an asset, I don't care what kind of account it is, it lives in the chart of accounts. So we're gonna go down here to accounting and chart of accounts. And by the way, if you don't want to go that route, you can always bookmark these URLs using your browser bookmarks or whatever you use to bookmark websites so that even if they change the menu navigation around, you know, as they do from time to time, you'll always be able to access it through your own bookmark because what will never change is this URL. Another little trick, by the way, if we're back on the overview, is from down here, you can take accounting and just drag it right up here and QuickBooks Online will create a new Chrome tab for you. That's a cool little trick that you'd never know about unless I showed it to you. And that's going to take you right to your chart of accounts. So how to add a new account? Very simply at the top right, click new. So we have a decision to make here. What type of an account are we creating? If it's a bank account, obviously we'll choose bank. But you have to go through this list and get familiar with it. If you're not an accounting or bookkeeping professional, you may need to get some help understanding what the difference is. What do some of these mean? Other current assets or things we own or have rights to other than bank accounts or accounts receivable, things like employee advances, things that we expect will be in effect liquidated within a year's time. That's what the current part means. It means it's going to live for less than a year. So an employee advance, we expect to get paid back certainly within a year. Um, so that would be a current asset, right? So we have to think about this and we have to make sure we're adding the right type of account. If it's a credit card, then obviously we have credit card here. There's lots of different types here. It could be an income account. So depending on what got you here, why you think you need to add this account, you should already have a pretty good idea of what to look for here, right? Now, once we choose something, so let's say we actually were setting up a loan it's going to be a long-term loan, right? A lot of people are taking out a lot of long-term loans with COVID and everything. So we'll do long-term liabilities. And that's going to be notes payable in the detail type. Now, the detail type is not as important, but just pick whatever fits best, right? And this is going to be loan payable, right? And maybe it's your second PPP loan or something like that that we're creating, okay? And I'll hit save and close. And now that account has been added. The other way is on the fly, right? While I'm recording a transaction. So maybe what happened is I actually got the bank deposit because I got the funds for the loan that just got funded. So right here, while we're recording the deposit in the account dropdown, I can actually choose add new, or you can just type it in here and then it will prompt you to add it because it sees that there's not already an account for this. So loan payable, and obviously I created it now, so it's got it, but let's say I was gonna do a, a round three. Now there's no round three loans, don't start asking about round three. I'm just renaming it to something different so you can see how it will now ask me to add it. Okay, and then pay attention, because if you go too quickly, you know, you might think that it would be sort of smart enough to know because you called it loan payable, that it's a liability, but it's not It's not that smart. So it just it defaults to income because we're recording a deposit and very often deposits go to income, right? So at this point, we have to change the account type. Again, it's gonna be long-term liabilities. Notes payable is fine. Check the name. Sometimes when you change the detail type, it updates the name. So check the name, make sure it's got what you need there. And then you'll click save and close. That my friends is how you add accounts to your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online.